what's up? No, I ain't that busy. I gotta go film an edit of uh, my grandpa's new truck. What'd he get? Just a Dodge. Some old Dodge. Nothing crazy. Yeah, okay. I'll call you when I'm done. Bye. even when it's 60 degrees outside. Keys. Yeah, but he's leaving. He's going to Florida. Sorry, wrong one. That was the right one. <laughs> I'm not used to having two trucks. <laughs> what a pimp. <laughs> I'm so jealous. Oh. Don't pay attention to all that. He's literally building a center console for it right now. He's had it for what? How many days? Like four, four five days. a week. And he's he's already ripping stuff apart. He already painted all those panels down by the floor. Yeah. He wants to redo the seats. He wants to put this stuff all on the doors. He, he's, he just, we talked for like an hour about everything they want to do. He's taking it to SEMA. So that's sick. My grandpa is cooler than your grandpa. I've driven this truck before, but...
Speaking of great trucks to drive, did you know from now until June 20th, you can enter to win my 1,000 horsepower shorty murder ram? That's right, you have the chance to take home the keys to the rowdiest second gen on the planet. <laughs> Super simple to get entered. All you gotta do is click the link above or in the description today. And who knows, maybe on June 20th, I'll be giving you a call telling you to come pick up your new truck. Enjoy the rest of the video. My grandpa's, not mine, my grandpa's 24 valve second gen. Single cab, long bed, duality. This truck is sick. This came from my good buddy Thomas King down in Florida. He builds the baddest second gens ever. He had a truck like this, but blue, and it broke the internet. And he got offered way too much money to not sell it. So I built another one because he loved that truck so much. Identical, but green this time. And uh, my grandpa offered him too much money to not sell it again. Sorry, Thomas. Quit building nice trucks and maybe people won't buy them off you. <laughs> I think it's a 2000 or 2001 Ram 3500 Dually. Uh, it's got a 24 valve. It's got a five speed NV4500 transmission. Right now, it's on a five inch lift. The frame actually came off of, well, but it didn't come off anything. I bought it back in the day when I was building my, uh, my rusted out silver truck. We call it the Thought Yacht. It was this ragged out piece of garbage 12 valve. It was my first second gen. I originally was going to do a frame off and a big lift on it. So I had this frame powder coated and it sat over at Logan's shop for months and I never touched it. Thomas was building this truck, couldn't find a single cab lawn bed frame. So I was like, hey, I got one sitting over at the shop, go snag it. He grabbed it, stripped all the powder coat off and then they base coat clear coated it. That's why it's all smooth and stuff now. It actually looked really, really nice. He did a really good job. The full frame off. Got five inch lift, all powder coated. Brandon and Thomas built this uh, little mini cradle for the radius arm to the front. And then it's gonna have track bars to go to the rear. Uh, they're building them right now, so it should be done in like a week or so. The way it sits right now, all the himes are turned all the way down. So this truck could go a whole lot taller, hint, hint. Wheels, we got 22 inch Alcoas wrapped in some 35s, some Venom tires. The paint, this is a I think it's a BMW color. It's this really cool green. I, I don't like green too, too much, but this is like beautiful. I, I mean, anything that Thomas does, I really, I, I love it. He does an amazing job. Cool thing about this truck, besides the, the whole sport front end, when you first look at this truck, you see the beautiful color match sport front end the sport bumper and fog lights and custom headlights. But this hood is probably the coolest thing on this truck and which makes it way cooler than any other second gen I've ever seen. Thomas has this thing where he figured out how to take the hood scoop off of an SRT10 Viper truck and mold it into a second gen hood. A one of two hoods, he's only done two. This came off of an actual SRT10. So he cuts the whole hood scoop off and then puts it on top of the second gen hood and molds it all together, makes it look factory. Like my, my white truck had a cow hood and it's cool, but this is like amazing. I, I'm actually gonna try to figure out how to put this on my fifth gen because I would like an SRT10 fifth gen hood. That looks sick. This thing looks amazing from the front. Custom headlights, sport front end, custom hood. It's freaking baller. Definitely not your average second gen. Another one of T King's signature things is uh, painting over some tail lights. So you got custom painted tail lights. It's got this little black, I think this is wrap, little black vinyl piece. It kind of looks like a platinum tailgate, but literally the opposite, it's black. Truck is stupid clean. As you can imagine you can eat off of the underneath of the truck it's brand new nice good to know axles are all painted everything's minty as you would expect interior got a fully loaded second gen interior every option that you can have heated leather seats is in this truck Haley's favorite part she's she's got her little visors with the mirrors facts <laughs> <laughs> which i've actually i've never seen that inside of a second gen so must be nice no cracks on the dash ipad dash five speed we're taking the same material as the headliner 
and we're going to try to put it on the doors because he, he's not a fan of the doors so we're gonna put some uh what's that called suede we're gonna put some suede material on the doors and he's gonna change a couple other things i think the seats are getting changed too he wants, he wants custom seats he wants custom seats to say grandpa feral productions <laughs> i think that'd be sick i don't think he's gonna do a starlight headliner i think he's i think that's where he draws the line on <laughs> how old he is I mean, he's, he's a pretty baller 61-year-old, to be honest. He's going to be pulling up the shows, and everybody's going to be like, God damn, that's a nice 2G. And he's going to be like, yep, it's mine. It's <laughs> a work truck. <laughs> Underneath the hood of this beast, it's a 180-mile uh, 24-valve Cummins. It's got a S366. It sounds insane. It sounds like a, a freaking jet. And it's tuned. And a full 5-inch exhaust. So, it's not built, but it definitely ain't slow, and it sounds amazing. Maybe one day I can convince them to take this uh, VP pump off and put a P pump on it and make a thousand horsepower, but we'll see. Knowing him, he, he's not he's, he's not one to sell stuff. Like, I always buy stuff, and I usually get really bored of it after a month or two, and I get rid of it, but uh, he does not. He's had my flatbed, the 99 that I grew up driving when I was in high school. He had that brand new since... 2000 so this truck i imagine is going to be here in, until he's not here <laughs> i don't want him to get rid of it to be honest this is he bought probably the nicest truck i've ever seen and that and i owned the silver truck i think this is nicer than the silver truck sorry josiah but i think this one's nicer I'm not gonna lie i'm gonna say it i'm gonna say it my grandpa owns the cleanest second gen on the planet not me i'll just go fuck yeah there she is. I would have, uh, I would have loved to see him make a video on it, but, um, I got him on Instagram and I got him on TikTok and not YouTube yet. I'm trying. He knows how to open all the apps up by himself now and he knows how to take <laughs> pictures and post them. We're getting somewhere. Maybe one day we can convince him to make a YouTube channel and then whenever he does stuff to it, he can actually make the videos on it. I told him I'll film and edit all of them. He just gotta exist. Comment down below if you guys think that my grandpa needs a YouTube channel. Grandpa Feral Productions. We'll make him t-shirts. <laughs> with him next to the truck and shit. I'm so proud of him. He's so cool. I love how when I bought my first, the Thought Yacht, that, that, that ugly ass second gen, he told me I couldn't park it in the driveway because he hates Dodges so much. And now he owns one. <laughs> how the heck did that happen? Ever since your truck, actually, the the black truck with the ghost flames. Oh, I loved it. He loved moving it around. Like he'd always, he, I'd be like, "Hey, can you go move this into the street?" And he'd be, "Oh, hell yeah!" Jumps in it, <laughs> pushes it up. He's like, he's ever since that truck, he's been like, second gens are growing on me. And every time we go to a show, we see nice second gens. He's like, "Yeah, I, I like that. I like that one." And now he owns one, the nicest one. <laughs> what a life! Shout out to T King for building an amazing truck, like always. Um, and shout out to my grandpa for buying an amazing truck. This is sick. I get to look at it every day and I didn't even have to break the bank. It's a win-win. Speaking of T-King, time to go down to Florida because uh, we're gonna go on a vacation. Haley was like, rock, paper, scissors. If I win, we have to go to Florida. So I guess we're going to Florida now. Yep, that's how it be. Yep, I'm gonna go put this back in the driveway before I uh, cash FM $60,000 to put it in my name. <laughs> See ya.
slammed on the brakes, but I was in gear, so I was like, crap. <laughs> that work. See, it's not that bad to drive. It's the same as a silver truck. Yeah. I think, I think the, like, worst part that I hate about driving manuals is, like, when you're letting off, it, like, grabs so hard and it jerks you, and then I get scared. <laughs> Good job. You'd install it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs>